And now we're back to the ones I really like. These uh, find your way through the puzzle. Semi-linear, not entirely linear, figure stuff out. Those were easy. There's a elevator there, but we can also come back to the, go to the back over here. Uh, this is fairly straightforward. There's just a, you know, difficult to see stairway that you, that has, you know, if you just walk on it, you'll figure it out. There's a, and then taking up the elevator, you can collect these two keys, obviously, and the only way to proceed forward is to take this long roundabout region across the foreground, where we collect a restart. Now the key to the left over there, you'd think you could get by going to the left, but there's a pit. I think I was checking to see whether there was any, I mean, I used A to get back to where it was. So what we can do is we go to the stairs and jump over there. There's actually another pit here that I just jumped. There it is. Um, so there's, that, one, that one's surprisingly difficult even though being right in front of you. I'm talking about the pits, I think. I don't remember. Anyway, um, where to go next here is a little unclear. There's this key in the upper right, and there's water. It turns out the water is on the left and on the right. And I think the water is there just so that if you jump um, across those gaps without with thinking you can make it, you will land in the water, and that will be your... Instead of death, you get the kind of correction. But I don't think the water gets you anywhere, at least not that water. I think from here, you can't get back up onto the steps. But you can get out. And we have yet another, we'll have a surprise coming here that requires uh, kind of reaction times or reflexes that I sometimes don't have. The mushroom lets us jump across the two, di two distance. And if we go all the way down, we can get that key at the bottom. Although it's not quite clear how to get out. But there's a step to get us out. So we can just climb back up again. How to move forward from here is uh, to use the mushroom to its full power. Now that may seem like you get stuck there because they give you that pit. But all you have to do is swim over and you end up here. There's yet another pit. I don't really know why that one. I guess maybe you were three high, so you needed to get down. Feels like I could have just put a stair in. There's pits along the edge here. So if you actually walk around the edge, it will drop you and you have to do some stuff again. I kind of find it amusing the way we end up walking around the score here. And I gave up on spending time on the cat. This level uh, has a few tricks. It's mostly straightforward. Mostly you can just jump from square to square on a meandering path to get up to the top where the keys are. However, the upper right key is um, it's not clear how to get the upper right key and I misremembered how to do it and was stuck on doing it this way. I was just thinking, I must have jumped when the elevator was too high, which is a thing. Sometimes you have to jump when the elevator is lower. But that was still not the right thing to do.
The guards are a surprising nuisance on this level, I guess because you have to move in thin strips, and because you're often in the water and out of, you do not have control of your movement, so they tend to be more dangerous than they seem like they should be. I'm still thinking about how to get to that key on the upper right. I know I can get the key on the upper left. That one I... It's, it's pretty straightforward. So let's go get it now. The only nuisance of these jumping paths is you're not jumping over holes, you're jumping over water. And the difference is if they're holes like drops that would kill you, you don't, your, your character just doesn't, Wendy, she just doesn't walk onto them. But if it's water, she happily walks into them. So it makes it slightly trickier to not mess up. Still can't, I'm still pondering how to get to the upper right hand key. I already tried going up the right hand side and jumping up left and that did not work. But, you know, maybe I didn't do it right. Let's try it again. That's really what those towers of water are for. Is there a secret way down the back? No. <laughs> that still doesn't work. So the answer is, there's an island in the water at the, in the top mid-back that it's hard to see. But if you jump to it, you get there. It's not very difficult, but it is, it does require trying stuff that you can't see. The solution is a little anticlimactic, of course. We have to climb up this path we've done so many times before. And finish. With those BPD uh, initials, it makes me think there might be some other people who made levels because um, I don't know what else would those letters would be. This level has slowdown. Uh, if you might, if you notice, we're actually moving a little bit slower. The guards are moving a little slower. The elevators are moving a little slower than they used to. I think the way it's written, it just can't um, quite keep up with all of the elevator movement. I don't know how you know its loop works. The most surprising thing about that is uh, it gets faster as you collect keys. So somehow the um, turning the keys on and off is taking notable time in the CPU loop. I thought somehow there'd be some clever hack for doing that quickly, but my Commodore 64 programming skills are almost non-existent. I was sure that you could get to that key from some place in that well, whatever. I remembered. I remembered incorrectly how to get to the key. <laughs> I don't think I ever figured out the correct way to... I don't remember if I... Oh, it has a... Right. I, I did figure it out later. That gets the key, but also kills you. It's not the right way. There's a stairway hidden behind. Um hidden behind that, that tower I'm about to go right now. I have no idea why I did that. I think, I, oh, it was, I was testing 
Right. Is that the way to get that tower? The answer is no. That's not the way to get that tower. I took a save state, so I must have expected it was wrong. Maybe I was showing people that it was wrong, but whatever. And here I foolishly miss a key. That one... I missed multiple keys. Whatever, I'll be back for them later. The guard I'm right on top of can't get to where I am. It looks dangerous, but he has no way to come down to that location. It's just too far down. So I got two keys left, and there's no clear way to get to them. All the three, ele all the four elevators towards the bottom of the screen we can get to don't seem to lead there. But there is some water here. And if you jump into it, it takes you up a little water stairway. You can maybe hear the tones rising, and dumps you over there. It's a little weird, but you know, hey, maybe not for this game. And if you jump in the wrong position, you don't, like, if you jump to the left of the elevator, you do not get to the elevator. Judging, I was noticing at that point, oh, I didn't even stand in the right place. One ways is um, largely an execution level. It's largely about uh, effectively jumping over the guards. There is a navigation problem. Those two-step things that I'm going over from high to low. If you attempted to go to over them from low to high, uh, you would jump onto the low spot and be presented with a too high thing that you could jump over, but you'd land in the pit beyond. So that would not succeed at traversing. Uh, all these pits, I think, are filled with water, and they, you basically just get stuck into them, stuck in them, until you press A. So that's the sort of first part of this level, is you wander around and um, find stuff. But there are... <laughs> he turned around right as I as he got to me, so I misjudged that jump. Uh, I don't know if they required to turn around there or I just decided to. I died quite a bit on this. Uh, part of the problem is... You know, the intersections are relatively few, and um, you have to spend a fair amount of brain power on trying to figure out where you can go. Because if you just kind of wander around, you will frequently miss, you know, you, you just never get some of the keys unless you make a concerted effort. Um, of course, if you get if you've played the level many times, there's a respite, which is, you know, you, you memorize what are valid flows, like what are some, you may, uh, maybe not the whole thing, but at least how the level tends to work. And then you think about the paths you can take less, which in turn lets you think about guard position and jumping them more. 
I have no idea why I turned there. Because if I had gone left, I would have started... Oh, right, because um, the final few keys on the northwest, southeast, upper left, lower right direction, uh, I know I can get all the way to the exit. It's this one key um, that I'm going past now that I don't know how to get to, and I'm trying to figure out how to get there. That's the difficult one, or at least the one that's not obvious, the one that's not on the way to the exit. So what I end up start doing is I say, okay, I need that key. Let me work backwards. I'll, I'll, I'll draw the lines so I get to an intersection. Oh, well, how, okay, that intersection. How do I get to that intersection? And I start trying to find lines to draw backwards from there. And in the process of doing this, of course, a guard comes along. <laughs> And that's, if you're not, if you don't have this level kind of like down, that's what tends to happen. You tend to be like, oh wait, I have to figure something out. Oh wait, I have to move. Um, I'm not the hugest fan, but it's, you know, there's nothing completely jerky about it. Of course, there's not that many paths. They're just kind of hard to see. So, um, it's moderately effective if you just make remember your choices and make different choices. But because the level is so um, kind of self-similar, it can be difficult to remember what your choices have been. So the right answer is to go right, and then when I get the next intersection, go up. Will I figure it out? Yes. Finally, I have found the path to this one lingering key. Getting to the end is easy. You want to go to the upper, you want to go upper left on the lower half, and you know, it, loop, it loops around uh continuingly narrower so all you have to do is be on the from the lower left to the to, from the lower right to the upper left on the lower half of the meridian or whatever i don't know you can see how it loops around you can see the general pattern you, so long as you agree with the pattern you'll get there really like this level. I I like its color scheme. I like that it's one of these relatively linear levels that you have to find your way. I like that it has little puzzles. All of these puzzles are really not very impressive. It's more like it's more of a bit of an execution and a, and a pastiche. Anyway, um, I also really like about this game the way that you kind of can't easily see what your path is going to be. There is a definite path for you, um, but it tends to loop around rather circuitously and surprisingly. I guess it's what I like about certain kinds of logic puzzles too. like. What is the pattern? And then you sort of find that the pattern emerges. And here I've reached the farthest point I can go with a mushroom. So wait till it ends.
And there's a bit of a screw job with that little, you know, drooping thing there. But we just hit a continue point, so no big deal. The further I got through this playthrough, the further, the more I realized they really expected you to use these continue points. I mean, it's part of the game, it's in the manual, but somehow it felt a little awkward at first, a little... I kept not pressing jump at the right time, this is embarrassing. Uh, but at first it felt like a little cheap, but then pretty quickly I, you know, increasingly rather, not enough quickly, it became clear that this was an expected aspect of the game. I kind of like that parallel. There's like a little stairway to get down to the ground and another stairway that only goes to a key. And it's like, it's just a little fake out. You think they're parallel, but they're not. That particular drooping square is very convenient. This level, while I try to catch the cat, this level is on my shit list. Um, I give it like two out of ten stars, something like that. It has multiple problems. One of the problems is there's a lot of water and you have to spend a lot of time in it, which means you have to hear the, the water sound a lot. Which is really not a nice sound. It's also a maze. And I don't really dis det detest mazes when you can make any sense of them. But here, some of those water pathways you're allowed to go down, they're pointing the right way, and some of them, you can't. And I don't think you're intended to be able to tell the difference between water flowing, you know, up left and water flowing down right. And I certainly can't. So, my solution, the goal here is just to get to the upper right. All we're trying to do is get to the other exit to the river. And this is the path, this path that I'm taking is not because I'm dumb. It's because the vast, you can see I'm trying places that are not working. The vast majority of uh, paths are not viable. Um, and let me point out, this is me solving this maze after having solved it for like two or three days running. Um, not, you know, all day long, but I tried it a couple, whatever. I played through the game a couple of times to make sure I knew how to do things. Not to try to become expert. And still, even knowing ahead of time what the general flow would be, that even though I want to go to the upper right, I have to go hug the left edge and then pull a little bit away from the right edge and then circle back to the mid top. And like even knowing that, it still was took me this long. because they're effective dead ends and you can't see them. And on top of that, not only can you not see the dead ends, it's common that you're not really entirely sure whether something works or not, because uh, if you're in the right-hand side of the river, um, it, goes, it, it, it flows forward. But if you're in the left-hand side of the river, it flows backwards, typically, like traffic intersections. So depending upon where how exactly you move. And the river also kind of spins you around in the intersections. So it's possible to sort of try to go direction but be on the wrong side. And if you're not being very attentive, you could be trying to go the right way and think it's the wrong way. Think it's a dead end.
So the way they make things dead ends is on the kind of side that's supposed to go through, they'll just put in a reverse arrow. So when you're on the right hand side, they'll have one that pushes you back. And it's not always in the same position. And finally we are out of the river. And I proceed to screw this level up pretty badly. I take tons of unnecessary deaths. But the general flow is there are mushrooms everywhere and you need to get onto these pillars where the keys are. But um, they tend to put the pillar facing a pillar so um, you can only sort of... So some sides you cannot jump onto them from. Like the, first of all, the pillars are in, the, in a corner so they only have two potential edges that you could jump to them from. Um, you cannot jump to them while on the same island. And then one of those two corners invariably is facing another pillar. Well, almost always. Most of them are. So there's a fairly specific direction that you have to jump to them from. And they do give you a restart there, so you don't have to solve that stupid, slow, annoying river maze multiple times. There is that. But if there wasn't that, I would just use save states. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I would have done at the time. I would have skipped the level if it was I was actually playing it on the Commodore 64. Because you can! This game just lets you skip the level. You can just say, I would like to load level 80. Except there's no level 80. Whatever. You can just... Yeah, that's me failing to get the ones in the middle. And I'm pretty sure I die like five times or so. There's two. Two deaths. Oh, and then I screw it up. I don't even get the key. Three deaths. Four deaths. <laughs> He's not entirely predictable. Only four deaths. So far. I, I can still make it I can still make it five. I'm having trouble figuring out how to jump into the river. <laughs> and that mess is over. <laughs>